Hey everybody, Carl here, Airsoft Arena, Airsoft Headquarters. Uh, continuing with the LMG project, you'll notice blue painter's tape. Today I'm going to be painting this uh, with a combination of the Rust-Oleum dark green, black, brown, and khaki to give it a nice uh, cool guy look, I guess, just for funs. Um, so you notice, taped off the optic screens so those don't get covered, I can still see through it. Uh, covered up where the fusion engine is, the trigger box so nothing gets inside of it, and the air nozzle for the fusion engine itself. Don't want to get paint on those. So, on to painting. First coat, because I want this to be a more green-based camo, I'm gonna just do an entire coat on the entire gun of the, what is your actual title? The Deep Forest Green. So, as I've said in the past, time to take it a paint and make it an art. Um, I go about six inches off and I lightly dust. So I don't wanna cake on the paint to begin with. Remember, there's going to be multiple coats on this. So I don't need so much worry about getting everything perfect on the first try. Make certain to hit the spots that are on the undersides. And then now, we let that dry, flip it over, do the next side, and then I'll show you the next color. So now it's time to start putting the accent colors. I start with the base coat, and then I go darkest to lightest. So, gonna be hitting the black now. Um, sometimes I'll take a piece of cardboard like this, cut it off at an angle. So you get light striping. <laughs> do, 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 do. Then I just walk around it, see how things are looking. I don't want to overload it in certain spots. Um, oh, also off camera, I decided to paint the magazine. So I'll, I'll hit this a little bit more. Flip it. And that'll be good for that for now. Um, let's just get a little bit. There we go. And we're gonna clean that big stripe up with other colors as we cross hatch it as well. Now we let it dry. Time for some brown. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it. Whee! Test spray. All right. Some of you might recognize this color scheme as the colors that are an M81 Woodland. <laughs> now we let it dry. Here we go. Uh, finished product. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. I did not add the khaki to it, just because primarily I'm going to be wearing green for events. So I'm gonna keep this a bit on the darker side. If I go tan to event, I'll just toss khaki on there or change up the entire pattern completely because that's the fun of rattle canning your guns. You can change them to whatever you color you want, whenever. I just happen to like the camouflage colors in the matte finishes 
so they're not as reflective and sticky when you grab them. Any questions, comments, concerns, all that stuff, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Catch you guys later. Making certain to get in all those nooks and crannies.